Um, autism is a spectrum condition which normally arises during early childhood, so when kids are about two or three years of age. And it's defined by difficulties in, in, in the social setting, like social interaction and also communication. And people with autism also often have very narrow and stereotypic interests. Um, it's currently diagnosed just on the uh, level of behavior. So when we uh, see people for assessment, we do clinical interviews with um, individuals as well as their parents. So, so far, there's no biological test that we can do to um, diagnose someone with autism. For the last four or five years it's been now, we, we've been working on a study called AIMS and AIMS stands for Autism Imaging Multicenter Study and the aim of AIMS is, is simply to look at structural brain abnormalities in the brain in autism and this project is running in collaboration with, with the universities of Oxford and Cambridge so, so it's a very large study. As part of the study, we have been thinking about um, those questions like, can we use maybe brain anatomy to identify someone with autism by? And um, at the time, there were no analytical techniques available to address such a question, um, to really look at individual brains, whereas traditionally we had just been looking at mean differences between groups. And um, we have a really good team of, of software engineers and um, software developers here at the Institute of Psychiatry who have been working on, on establishing those techniques for MRI data sets. So we thought, why not just look at something like autism um, to really see if, if we can um, look at brain anatomy and make a prediction. And so we didn't really have very high expectations to begin with um, because autism is such a complex and, and heterogeneous condition. But then to our surprise, um, even in relatively small samples, we found such high um, prediction accuracies. So to see that just on the basis of a 15 minutes brain scan, we can really, in our samples, detect whether someone has autism or not, that was a huge eureka moment, if you like, which has really motivated us to do more research um, into this question.